Hi, Jerry Jenkins here, and I'm going to show you how to create your very own author website in the next 25 minutes. Now hear me. I know you see other writers' websites and you'd love to have one yourself, but the very idea that you could create one on your own sounds ludicrous. It did to me too, but hear me out. You can probably guess my vintage by the sound of my voice, so you know I'm no techie. So believe me, if I can build a site in no more than half an hour, you can too. Now I'm going to make this simple and walk you through every step. And remember, you can pause the video anytime you need to, back up to hear something again, whatever you need. I'm going to help you choose your hosting company, in other words, the company that provides the space on the internet for you to situate your author website. Think of the hosting company as your landlord. You're paying them for a place online for your site to reside. Then I'll help you pick your domain name. That's just an easily remembered address where people can find your web page. So your domain is akin to the house number at your home. And finally, I'll help you launch your site, making it visible to people online. If you're serious about getting published someday, you need visibility and online presence. So the goal today is to create a beautiful online author website, all your own, where you can feature your blog, start building a following, and eventually even sell your books. Now, as we begin, a quick note. If your actual process is slightly different from what I show you here, you should still be able to easily see what to do. While minor steps may have changed since I recorded this, the overall process should be largely the same. All right, here we go. The first thing you'll do is pick a hosting company, which, as I said, is in essence your landlord. If you're a beginning author or blogger, I recommend Bluehost. It's inexpensive, about 30 cents a day, and it's a wise investment in your writing career. Plus, Bluehost offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you try it and decide you don't like it, you get a full refund. Now, this doesn't apply to add-on products, so keep that in mind if you buy anything beyond the space for your site. Now, here are the reasons I recommend Bluehost. They have great customer service, easily accessible 24-7. Bluehost works with WordPress, a simple tool that helps you easily create a good-looking website. Bluehost has in-house WordPress experts if you ever have a question. So Bluehost is the hosting company I'll teach you to use here. Now, be aware that this video specifically walks you through a Bluehost setup. If you choose another hosting company, you'll need their instructions to get started. Okay, if Bluehost sounds like the right choice for you, let's go to jerryjenkins.com forward slash Bluehost. That's jerryjenkins, one word, dot com forward slash Bluehost, one word. So pause me here while you go to that website and then turn me back on when you're there. All right, welcome back. One of the things you should see at that site is a discount offered exclusively to the writers I mentor. You'll get a free domain and site builder. Remember, view your domain as the address of your site, which people use to find you. You'll also get one-click WordPress installs. You'll get 24-7 Bluehost support and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Plus, you'll get to start at the special rate of just $2.95 a month. That's less than $0.10 cents a day. Now, full disclosure, I get a commission at no extra cost to you if you use this link to sign up for Bluehost. But rest assured, I'd recommend Bluehost regardless. So let's get started. On this page you'll notice the green Get Started Now button in the middle. Click that. On the next page, you'll see Bluehost's other hosting options. Now, quick note, Bluehost requires at least a one-year payment up front, which is how they can remain so affordable. But if you decide to cancel, they'll give you your money back for any months you haven't used. So don't fear getting locked into something that doesn't work for you. Bluehost's longer-term plans save you money because the longer the term, the lower your monthly price. And their promotional prices apply to the first term only. So the longer your first term, the longer you receive the discounted price. If you're just testing the waters, one year may be all you need. But if you're serious about growing your reputation as an author, consider a longer-term plan. 
If you're new to this and imagine yourself having only one website, I recommend going with the basic plan. Here comes the fun part, naming your domain. Remember, this becomes your online address, so don't complicate it. Ideally, you want to go with your own name. Now, if you have a common name, you may get a message that says it's already being used. I know mine is already being used because I'm using it, but let me enter it here just to show you what to do if you get a similar message. See, my domain name is already in use. That choice is not available for registration. Now, if that happens to you, you have two options. First, you could try a different extension. That's that little abbreviation at the end, which is usually .com. Now, .com is preferred because it's the most common, but .net or .co work just as well. You want .com if at all possible because people are so used to keying that in, they might miss that yours is different and have to figure out what's wrong. Obviously, you want to make it as easy as possible for people to find you. Many who hear of you or about you and don't even know whether you have a website will often simply try your name .com. So your second option, if your name's in use, is to try variations on your name and keep that .com extension. The key here is to keep your domain name simple. For example, if your name were Timothy Woodford, you might add your middle initial or use Tim instead of Timothy. Or you can add a word like Timothy Woodford writing.com. But don't get cute here. Don't identify yourself as Susie Writer Chick or Cowboy Penman Josh. The whole point of this is visibility for you. So you want to use your own name and appear professional. Uh, Timothy Woodford's great writing website.com is bad. Imagine giving that address to an agent or a publisher. I'm going to use the fake name here so we can get the simple .com web address or URL. Now, URL stands for Universal Resource Locator, but all you need to know is that it's simply the address one types in to go to a specific web page. Now, as I develop this new author website for the fictitious Timothy Woodford, of course, you'll be plugging in your own personal choices for your site as we go. Now, after you type in your domain name, click Next, and you'll be taken to the Create Your Account page. This is where you'll add in your information, like name, address, the usual. Pause this video while you do that, and I'll type in Woodford's information and rejoin you in the next section. Okay, we're back. After you input your information, Bluehost asks for more detail about the package you'd like to purchase. Just so you know, any add-ons you buy beyond the hosting service are non-refundable if you should later opt out and ask for your money back. This is completely your call, but you might want to consider adding domain privacy protection. It's included with the Prime plan, but not included in Plus or Basic. So in those cases, it would be a non-refundable add-on. A domain privacy protection ensures that when someone looks up your website, they don't see your personal contact information, but see Bluehost's instead. It's an extra 99 cents a month, but in my opinion, the privacy is well worth it. The last section you'll complete on this page is payment information. Type in your information, click the checkbox at the bottom, then click the green submit button. I'll do that now and then rejoin you. Okay, still with me? After you've entered your payment information, you'll be taken to another page where Bluehost might offer you some extra deals. You can add these to your purchase or not. That's up to you. If you don't want to purchase anything more, which is what we'll choose here, no purchases, just click the No Thanks link at the bottom right. On the next page, we get a warm welcome from Bluehost. Then we'll scroll down to the green Create Your Password button. Click that button. Here's where you type in your password. Once you've done that, and remember, you can pause whenever you want to if you need to think about it, then click the checkbox next to I have read and agree to Bluehost's privacy policy in terms of service, and then click next. After that, you'll be taken to a login page. Click the blue login button. Now the real fun begins. You're going to be designing your site which Bluehost makes very simple. 
On the next page, you'll choose your theme, the look and feel of your site. Really celebrate your personality here. This is your website, so make it your own. Once you've chosen your theme, on the next page, click the blue Start Building button. After that, you'll be directed to your site builder. I recommend clicking Business here. Your site can be unique and show your personality, but still you want it to look professional. Next, you'll create your site title and your very own author tagline. The site title can be simple, like Welcome to the Website of Author Timothy Woodford, which is what we'll use here. The goal with your author tagline is for it to immediately identify what you're all about. For instance, mine is New York Times bestselling novelist and biographer. Novelist Brandilyn Collins uses seatbelt suspense as her tagline. Diane Mills uses expect an adventure. Jean Oram has a great post on creating author taglines, which I'll link to in the description of this video. Now, you'll want to invest enough time to make your tagline exactly the way you want it. But for now, just find something that works. Then you can come back to this later and revise it if you wish. Your tagline will go under Site Description. Now here, for our made-up user, we'll say, Historical Fiction with a Modern Twist. After you create your tagline, click Next Step. On the next page, you'll be asked if you'd like to update your site with news or blog posts. I recommend clicking yes, even if all you enter here for now is a paragraph saying, welcome to my new blog, check back here on such and such a date when I plan to write on whatever subject you choose. See you then. You'll want to write and post blogs to build a following of readers interested in your bigger projects like books, but who also want to keep up with what you're doing and hear from you regularly. The next page is going to ask what you want visitors to see on your home page. I recommend a static welcome page here, one that doesn't change, to let visitors get acquainted with you and your site. This is a great place for a photo of you and a quick bio. More on those in a minute. The next page asks if you'd like WordPress to create a contact us page. That gives visitors to your site access to you. I recommend you click yes here. If you're like me, this will quickly become one of your favorite features. I love to know people are visiting and what they think. But of course, the best benefit is giving agents or publishers a quick way to reach you if they happen to see something they like. While that may seem a remote possibility right now, agents and editors discover new authors this way every day. The next page asks if you'd like to connect your Jetpack profile to WordPress. Jetpack is a statistics tracking program some website owners love and others ignore. If you're a numbers person, it'll help you analyze the effectiveness of your site. You can determine later if it's something you want to pursue. For, for now, let's click Not Now. You can always come back to this later. On the next page, you have the option to add business information. Be careful not to include your personal address here. I recommend clicking Not Now on this page. The next page allows you to customize your site. Let's wait on that for now, too. Click the blue X in the right-hand corner of the window. After that, you'll be taken to your Bluehost dashboard. Find and click Pages on the left side. Then, find the sample page, hover your cursor over it, and click Edit. You're going to do a few things on the next page. First, change the page's title to writing. Next, change the URL extension to writing. You want it to match the page's title. Now, as I mentioned earlier, URL stands for Universal Resource Locator, the address to a specific web page. The extension is what comes after that web address. So combined, these form what WordPress calls a permalink. For this example, the permalink would be your website name.com forward slash writing. After you change that extension, click the OK button. Next, you want to add a description of your writing. Keep in mind two things as you do this, brevity and professionalism. Include what visitors would want to see, and your most important visitors will be publishers and agents. Write in first person, mention any of your projects you care to, 
and add permalinks to them if you can. If you need someone to show you how to do that, look for a young person. I'm going to walk you through it, but you might need some help later too. For my example today, I'm going with this. I'm a fiction author who enjoys adding modern twists to key historical events. Ever wondered what the American Revolution would have been like if people had telephones? Me too. So I wrote my first novel about it. Click here to purchase extension 1776. Now, once you've entered a description of your own writing, click the blue Update button. Now, let's talk about how to make that sentence about purchasing the book an actual link to where visitors can buy your book. We want to make it so visitors can click on it to get to that other site. Now, maybe you don't yet have a book to sell, but perhaps some of your writing can be seen on another website and you want to give visitors to your site a link to it. Here's how to do that. First, highlight the text you want to turn into a hyperlink. As I said, you're going to turn that text into a link someone can click on to get to a different web page. In this example, we'll highlight Click Here to Purchase Extension 1776. Next, click the Chain Link icon in the toolbar. See it there? Now copy and paste into the text box the URL you want to link to. Then click the blue Apply icon. Lastly, click the blue Update button. You're done. That's how you turn your text into an easily clickable URL. Now we're going to go back to the Pages section on the sidebar and click it. This time, scroll down to the Home page and click Edit, just like you did on the sample page. This will be the first page visitors see on your site. That's why I said you want to use a short bio and a good photo of yourself on the home page. This is where you'll do that. Change the title of the page to About. Click the Add Media button, which will open a new page. Click the Select Files button and find the photo of yourself you want to use. Then click Insert into Page. You may need to change the size of your photo. You want it to be clear, but not overwhelming. Don't use a group or family shot here. You can add that later, but here you want the reader to clearly see you. After you add your photo, it's time to add your bio. My advice here is to focus mainly on your writing, but add a little personal information as well. Readers want to know you're a real person, and they'll decide from this whether you're vain or humble, snobbish or accessible. Talking about ourselves can be tricky. We want to sound qualified, but not proud of ourselves. Briefer is better. If writing about your children, lean toward something like, I'm the proud mother of three boys, rather than naming them and talking about each one. That might benefit them and make you feel good, but always think reader first. What most benefits the reader? Readers and agents and publishers want to know about you, but they don't need your life story. For this site, we'll say, Hello, I'm Timothy Woodford, a historical novelist from Boise, Idaho. In my books, I add modern elements to key historical events to offer an interesting perspective on what took place. Imagine American revolutionaries with cell phones. Click here to purchase my debut novel, Extension 1776, on Amazon. I also love cycling and spending time with my wife and two sons. Now, we'll add a link to the phrase, Click here to purchase my debut novel extension 1776 on Amazon. Once you're done, click the blue Update button. Now we're going back to the Pages button on the left side of the screen to edit the Contact Us page. Find it, then click Edit. Our goal here is to make this page applicable to an individual author rather than a business. So let's change the title from Contact Us to Contact Me making it more personal and direct. Change the URL extension to Contact Me. Next, give people a hint as to why they might want to contact you. Examples would be like, if, if you're looking for a writer who, or if you're looking for a speaker on, or I'd love to hear your thoughts on, give people a little direction so they're not left in the dark. Here, let's say, if you're interested in history, technology, or the relation between the two, I'd love to hear from you. If you have an idea you'd like me to explore, I'd like to hear that too. You can email me at tim at timwoodfordwriting.com. I always recommend writing to one person at a time, referring to you and not some of you or many of you, etc. 
Okay, after that, type in your contact information. Nowadays, no one should need your actual home address, but give them all the other convenient ways to get in touch with you. Then click the blue Update button. By now, you should have the most important information on your site, so let's create a menu so visitors can access all these pages. Scroll to the menus on the left side of your screen, find Appearance, and hover over it, then click Menus. To create your menu, we're going to type Main Menu in the Menu Name box, then click the blue Create Menu button. On the left side of your screen, find the Pages box, click Select All, and then click Add to Menu. After that, scroll down to Menu Settings and click the check box next to Automatically Add New Top Level Pages to this menu. Then click the check box next to Top Menu. Last, click the Save Menu button. Now just two more steps before your website's ready to go live on the internet. Click the Bluehost link on the left side of your screen. Click the blue Launch button. You'll now see a new heading that reads, Congratulations, your site is now live. Click the View Site button to see your new website. That's all there is to it. You now have a, an author website. Now you should enjoy more credibility, a place to showcase your work, the ability to build an audience, and a whole lot more. And I have one more thing for you today. I just want to show you how easy it is to change your WordPress theme in case you get tired of the one you created. Scroll down to Appearance and hover your mouse over the link. When the submenu pops up on the right, click Themes. On the next page, scroll down and click Add New Theme. Use the toolbar in the middle of the page to filter by category. Featured, popular, latest, favorites, premium. You can even filter the features you want. Search the list for a theme that feels just right to you. Once you find a theme you like, click Install. After the theme finishes installing, click Activate. On the next page, scroll down to the banner that reads New Theme Activated Visit Site. Click Visit Site to see your new theme. Notice how all your information is still there, but the overall look is new and different. You can further tweak, adjust, or enhance by scrolling down. Finding your theme and clicking Customize. Use the sidebar to make any changes. And when you're done, click Publish. And there you have it. You've created your author website. It should serve you well for years. But if you get tired of it or just see things you'd like to change, you can download a new theme or adjust the one you have using the instructions in this video. I hope you found this helpful. You've taken a big step today. Maintaining an author website is an integral part of pitching your writing to agents and publishers and developing a devoted audience. If you want free writing tips, head over to jerryjenkins.com. Hope to see you there soon, and tell me the address of your new author website so I can take a peek.